This practice is a follow-on from the practice we did on basic goodness inquiry, where we listened to several sentences, including, I am basically good, I experience a deep friendliness towards myself, sentences like that. And during that inquiry, we were really just looking to see what came up. Today, the reason I'm saying it's a follow-on practice from it, it would be good to perhaps listen to the other one first, although this can be done independently as well. We're going to look for basic goodness in the body, in sensation, in our experience. So before we start the actual looking, the actual inquiry, Let's tune into the body, the breath, the mind, all of these layers that we experience life through. Notice your whole body from head to toes. There's the physical part of the experience, the muscles and bones and how it is that we're positioned in space. If we're lying, we'll have that feeling a pressure along the whole back of the body. And when we're lying down, we can really let all of the muscles go. We don't have to have any activity at all in the body to be supported. If you're sitting, there's some activity in the body. There's some activation of core muscles and things. But even sitting, you could allow everything possible to soften and relax. Take a few breaths and just Expand your awareness to include your whole of your body and the relaxation in your body. If you notice any tight spots as you're reviewing what's happening in your body right now, then just go into that spot with your attention. Forehead and eyebrows are a very common place to hold a bit of tightness. Allow that to relax the jaw, the hinges of the jaw, the back of the neck and the shoulders. The throat, the chest, the stomach area, all the way down to the toes. And notice the breath and the energy. There's an overall energy feeling in the body. Sometimes we feel kind of tired or sluggish, we might feel restless, anxious. There's all kinds of experiences we could have energetically. We can also have individual parts of the body where there's a sensation or an energy. So notice what the overall feel is at this moment and also notice if there's any parts of your body where you're experiencing sensation or energy that are kind of drawing your attention there. And notice your breath as well. The breath is a real good indicator of what's happening in the body and the mind. Allow your breath to be even and smooth, relaxed. Notice the mind, the thought stream layer of the mind. Sometimes the mind is very busy. Sometimes there's more peace and quiet in the mind. A thought will come up. Then there will be a moment of rest and maybe another thought will come in. Other times there's a racing mind or trains of thoughts that kind of drag us away with them. So notice your thought stream and what the environment is in that this morning. And paying attention to the fact that you're noticing all of this. There's some part of you that's not in the thought stream, that's noticing your body, the energy, the thoughts. And that all this is appearing in awareness. It's content that we're observing. Content always changes. And paying attention to your being, to the space, in which this content is coming up, the space that's not affected 
by what's coming up in the body, the breath, the mind, the thoughts. So the inquiry today is to look for basic goodness. To look for that sense of, I am okay. So when we hear those sounds or when we see those words in our mind, in our mind's eye, they might appear as thought in the mind. We could very well have a reaction or a response to them. We might have a lot of evidence come up. That would be a very common response. Well, I'm not okay because, and then we have evidence for that. So if there are things coming up in the thought stream, just notice that they're there if they are there. If they're not, that's fine too. And as we're looking for this sense of basic goodness, let's look through the body and see if it might be showing up there. When we're looking for one quality, we can also look for the opposite. So as we scan through the body, we'll start at the head and go through fairly slowly. Pay attention to your experience as you're looking. How would you know, based on what's being observed in the body, that you're basically good or that you're not? So we're looking for a person who is basically good, who is okay with who they are. We're not going to really focus too much on the words and images. If you have something persistent coming through, then for sure have a look at that. There are many layers of the mind and of our experience that aren't related to the thought stream. Let's focus more attention on that. So if you're paying attention to your head, there's the scalp and the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes. There's the physical component of having a head, being a human with a head. There's our face, the ears, the sounds coming in through the ears. The back of the head, if you're on the ground or on the floor, you'll notice the pressure on the back of your head. And in the head, we'll notice as well, there's this feeling of the sight behind the eyes. Even with the eyes closed, there seems to be a location for seeing. When we see in our mind's eye, that's where we're seeing from. And most people experience thought as originating in the head, behind the forehead, somewhere there in the middle of the head where the brain is. And when we look in an area of the body, we might be noticing an image of that area. We might have an image of a head or a picture of a head, a sense of light and shadow. Notice how you experience that. And look to see if you can find basic goodness in the area of your head. Is there a, a feeling of, yes, this is how I would know this sensation, this feeling, this is how I would know that there's basic goodness here. Just noticing what your experience is right now. In the area of your head. With the thought and the sight and the sounds and the saliva in the mouth and the air coming in through the nose. Is there a feeling that, yes, this is here, basic goodness is here, 
basic goodness is not here. And whatever the results of your looking are, there's no real right or wrong way to experience this. There's no right or wrong answer. Just notice what your experience is. And whatever you found or didn't find, move your attention down into your neck and throat. Down into the chest as well, the area that's protected by the rib cage. And look to see if you can find a person who is basically good or not basically good in the throat or in the chest. There would be sensations, there might be physical Sense perceptions of maybe pressure on the back of your body if you're lying down. You might feel the breath as it's moving in, it's expanding the lungs. There could be sensation, there could be images of this part of the body or maybe thoughts about it. Can you find a self who is basically good in this part of your body, in your throat, the neck, the chest. Just noting your observations as you move your awareness down into your stomach area. There's the area right below the ribs, the diaphragm, the solar plexus, the stomach area, the navel center. From the navel center in the middle, there's also the lower belly as you come down, the pelvic floor. There's the physical sensations of the breath moving in the body. If you've just eaten or if you're hungry, there will be sensations that are physical based. And notice as you're paying attention here in this part of the body from the rib cage to the pelvic floor, from the front of the stomach to the back and the spine, the back of the body. Look to see if you can find a person who is basically good in this area of the body. There's no right or wrong answers to this. There might be a sensation that feels like, mm, I don't think this is good. There might be a response to it. There might be some sense of knowing this is something, this is a person who's not basically good, or if I was, I wouldn't have this happening. So the, there can be a lot of different reactions and responses. So noticing your responses, but also paying attention to this whole space where your stomach is, the lower belly. Can you find a person in that area who's basically good or who's not? And then bring your attention to your whole body, including the arms and the legs, all the way down to the feet, all the way into the fingertips. Top of the head, the whole of the head, down through the throat, the neck, the torso, the legs, the arms and hands. We're looking to see if we can find a person who is basically good. or maybe a person who is not. And whatever evidence comes up or whatever your experience is, 
just to notice that. Whatever it was that came up for you during this inquiry, you could take that into a longer inquiry if you like. If you're listening to a recorded version, you could pause and really explore what's coming up. We mostly have a sense of, yes, I'm basically good and I experience life that way or not. So we can look at that evidence that comes up in the mind as words, images, and what comes up in the body as feelings and sensations. We can see how that knowing is comprised of these things. And we can also pay attention to this deeper level of experience, this part of the mind that is observing what's happening and the space in which all of that is arising. And as it comes back to mind during the day, tune back into your whole experience, not just the thoughts. Notice your body, the breath, the thoughts as well, and what it is that's observing and paying attention as this content arises and changes and falls in this space of awareness.